Hi viewers, welcome to ChemEasy. In our previous video, under calcium channel blockers, general mechanism of action, then structure activity relationship of 1,4 dihydropyridines, metabolism of calcium channel blockers, and SCR of phenyl alkylamines explained. Now, in this video, four important drugs which are coming under calcium channel blockers are explained in detail. Before watching this video, subscribe ChemEasy to learn chemistry easily. These are the four drugs we are going to discuss in detail that is verapamil, diltiazem, nifidipine and amlodipine. For each drug, let us see the structure, its IUPAC name, then its mechanism of action, structure activity, relationship, metabolism, adverse drug reaction and also its therapeutic uses. First, let us see verapamil in detail. Verapamil is coming under the class of phenylalkylamine and you can see the structure of verapamil here and the IUPAC name of verapamil is given here that is 2, 3, 4 dimethoxyphenyl, 5, 2, 3, 4 dimethoxyphenyl ethyl methyl amino 2 prop 2 il pentane nitrile and this drug resides primarily in the S isomer and verapamil acts as an L type of calcium channel blocker it means there are L type N type and T type in which this drug acts as an L type calcium channel blocker this is a simple mechanism of action of verapamil. This drug inhibits voltage dependent calcium channels. Specifically, its effect on L type calcium channels in the heart causes a reduction in inotropy and chronotropy. Due to this reduction, it reduces the heart rate and blood pressure. Next one is structural activity relationship of verapamil. First point, chiral center. Here you can see this carbon in verapamil is a chiral carbon. So this chirality is required for the activity of verapamil. And the nitrile and isopropyl groups are not critical to activity. Rings here, you can find one aromatic ring here and another one aromatic ring here. Both the aromatic rings are required for the activity and this aromatic ring is attached with the chiral carbon. So the ring which is attached to chiral center requires O-methyl. It means this OCH3 and OCH3. So O-methyl group has meta position and para position. So this OCH3 is in meta position and this is in para position and the amine attached ring substitution is more flexible. And the next point is amine. Here, if there is a quaternary amine, then the drug will become inactive. But now, if it is secondary or tertiary amines, which are active. In case of stereochemical aspect, if you compare the R enantiomer of the drug with the S enantiomer, the R enantiomer of verapamil is more effective at reducing blood pressure compared to the S enantiomer. However, the S enantiomer is 20 times more potent than the R isomer at prolonging the PR interval in treating arrhythmias. That is the PR interval is nothing but it is the first part of electrocardiogram wave. Here you can see the structure of the R verapamil and S verapamil. Next part is metabolism of verapamil. This drug is metabolized by cytochrome P453A4 n demethylation to its principal metabolite norverapamil. This norverapamil retains approximately 20% of the activity of verapamil and also 
it is metabolized by cytochrome p452 d2 o demethylation into inactive metabolites here you can see the metabolism of verapamil by the enzymes cytochrome p453 a4 it means it undergoes n demethylation and gives nor verapamil so you can see here nh is there demethylation takes place it means this cs3 removed and it becomes nh here the metabolism of verapamil by cytochrome p452 d2 is given so you can see this is the structure of verapamil it undergoes metabolism by this enzyme it means o demethylation takes place and gives o desmethyl verapamil you can see here it means in verapamil here o cs3 is there that is o methyl group undergoes o demethylation and becomes oh these are the adverse drug reactions of verapamil about 30 percentage experience constipation in different degrees of severity and less commonly it means only 2 to 5 percentage experiences nausea hypotensive symptoms ankle edema and atrioventricular block and rarely heart failure may occur and less frequently gynecomastia allergic hepatitis and skin rashes in case of IV administration, this is more hazardous. Different arrhythmias and blockades can occur due to this IV administration. Then therapeutic uses of verapamil. Verapamil used for controlling ventricular rate in supraventricular tachycardia and migraine headache prevention. It's a class 4 anti-arrhythmic and more effective than digoxin in controlling ventricular rate. This drug may be used to treat hypertension in patient has comorbid arterial fibrillation or other types of arrhythmia. Verapamil is also used intra-arterially to treat cerebral vasospasm. It is also used to treat the condition cluster headache. Next drug is Diltiazem. Diltiazem comes under the class of benzothiazepine. This is the structure of Diltiazem. Here you can find benzothiazepine nucleus. And the IUPAC name is cis-3-acetyl-oxy-5-2-dimethyl-amino-ethyl-2-3-dihydro-2-4-methoxyphenyl. 1,5 benzothiazepine 4 one Mechanism of action of Tiltiazem Possibly by deforming the channel, inhibiting ion control gating mechanisms and are interfering with the release of calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. It inhibits the influx of extracellular calcium across both the myocardial and vascular smooth muscle cell membranes. The resultant inhibition of the contractile process of the myocardial smooth muscle cells leads to dilation of the coronary and systemic arteries and improved oxygen delivery to the myocardial tissue. This is a simple assayer of deltiasm. Here you can see the structure of deltiasm in which this is the acetyl ester. So the cis arrangement of the acetyl ester and this substituted phenyl ring is required for the activity. In case of stereochemical aspect, tiltiasm is a chiral compound possessing asymmetric center. So the dextrorotatory enantiomer of tiltiasm is approximately more potent as a calcium channel blocker than the levorotatory enantiomer. In case of metabolism, diltiazem undergoes N demethylation by the enzyme CYP3A4 and O demethylation by CYP2D6. Here you can see the N demethylation by the enzyme CYP3A4 
So del T as M by N demethylation, it gives N demethyl del T as M. In structure, you can see here NCS3 is there. After demethylation, it becomes NH. Here you can see the metabolism of del T as M by the enzyme CYP2D6. It undergoes O demethylation. So this O methyl group is converted to OH by O demethylation. After oral and continuous IV administration, the major metabolite which is directed is deacetyl diltiazem. This deacetyl diltiazem having one quarter to one half of the arteriolar vasodilation activity of the parent compound. Here you can see the structure of deacetyl diltiazem. So here in diltiazem, OCOCS3 will be there. That is O acetyl group will be there. And now it is OH, that is D acetyl diltiazem. N dimethyl diltiazem is the other main basic metabolite that retain pharmacological activity of diltiazem. Adverse drug reactions of diltiazem, ankle edemos, headache, gastrointestinal ailments, atrioventricular block, hazardous arrhythmias as well as symptomatic hypotension and exanthemas are rare. Diltiazem cause fewer adverse reactions than other calcium channel blockers. After inhalation, bronchospasms, coughing and rhinorrhea occur especially in asthma patients. Diltiazem is indicated for stable angina that is exercise induced angina, variant angina, unstable angina, myocardial bridge, atrial fibrillation. Because of vasodilatory effects of diltiazem, it is useful for treating hypertension also. Third drug under calcium channel blockers is nifidipine. Nifidipine comes under the class of 1,4-dihydropyridine. Here you can see the nucleus that is 1,4-dihydropyridine nucleus. Its IUPAC name is 3,5-dimethyl, 2,6-dimethyl, 4,2-nitrophenyl, 1,4-dihydropyridine, 3,5-dicarboxylate. Mechanism of action of nifidipine is nifidipine decreases arterial smooth muscle contractility and subsequent vasoconstriction by inhibiting the influx of calcium ions through L-type calcium channels. They also possess non-specific activity towards other voltage dependent calcium channels and nifidipine has additionally found to act as an antagonist of the mineralocorticoid receptor. Next, the SAR of nifidipine. In nifidipine, this is ortho nitro group and this COOCS3 and this COOCS3 are methyl ester. Neither the ortho nitro group nor the methyl ester in nifidipine are essential for the typical effect of the molecule on myocardial contractility. Generally, ortho substituted derivatives induce a greater negative inotropic activity than meta substituted derivatives, and the para substituted derivatives are the least active compounds. In the group of ester derivatives, activity decreases when lipophilicity and or volume of the substituent increases. In case of metabolism, nifidipine is extensively metabolized in the liver to highly water soluble inactive metabolites by the enzyme CYP3A4. This is the enzyme which predominantly metabolizes nifidipine, but the drug is also metabolized by the enzyme CYP1A2 and CYP2A6 isozymes. Here you can see the metabolism of nifidipine by dehydrogenation gives dehydro 
nifedipine. It means here one four dihydropyridine nuclease is there. After dehydrogenation, it becomes pyridine nucleus. Adverse drug reactions of nifedipine is dizziness, flushing, weakness, swelling ankles, swelling feet, constipation, and headache may occur. And this drug is used to treat hypertension and angina. Also used sometimes to treat preterm labor and Raynaud's syndrome. Now let us see the last drug, amlodipine. As like nifedipine, amlodipine also comes under the category of 1,4-dihydropyridine. You can see the same 1,4-dihydropyridine nucleus here. The IUPAC name of amlodipine is 3-ethyl-5-methyl-2-2-amino-ethoxy-methyl-4-2-ethyl-3-ethyl-3-ethyl-4-2-ethyl-3-ethyl-3-ethyl-3-ethyl-3-ethyl-3-ethyl-3-
with 10 percentage of the parent compound and 60 percentage of the metabolites excreted in the urine. Here you can see this is amlodipine by the enzyme CYP3A4 it is metabolized and gives this major metabolite of amlodipine. Here the nitrogen containing ring is oxidized it means this 1,4-dihydropyridine ring is oxidized and gives this pyridine nucleus and two of the side chains are hydrolyzed. Here it means this COOCH2CH3 and this CH2OCH2CH2NH2. These two side chains are hydrolyzed here. Adverse drug reactions of amlodipine includes dizziness, lightheadedness, swelling ankles, feet, or flushing may occur, allergic reactions occurs rarely. Therapeutic uses of amlodipines are, this drug is used in the management of hypertension and coronary artery disease in people with either stable angina or variant angina and without heart failure. Amlodipine is also used to treat angina and kidney problems. If you like this video, Share with your friends and subscribe Chemmizy.